Hello and welcome to Magical Marker. It's a game of Dungeons and Dragons and Drawings. We're a bunch of cartoonists and illustrators who won't just be playing the game, but doodling what happens along the way. It's a PG-13 story of teens and tweens on their first big adventure on their own. Let's introduce our cast. Let's start off with Boya. Hi, I'm Boya. I'm playing a character whose name is Bug and he is a bugbear warlock. He is 12 years old. Priscilla. I'm Priscilla, and I'm playing a character named Isboya, who is a half-elf bard. Caitlin. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm playing Zip. She is a drow fighter, and she's 16 years old. And Matt. Hello, uh, my name is Matt. I'm playing Swell. He's a water ganasi cleric, and he's 15 years old. And I'm your dungeon master, Brian, and I'm currently running some characters like the NPC Sutran, a magically animated severed hand of a spellcaster from decades ago who is searching for her other hand. I'm also playing a group of Islander teens who have ditched their home for adventure, like the lumberjack Wanti Dresdick lumber splitter, the far traveling dwarf Yarva Goldfoot, and the hunter gatherer Tabaxi Proc. Our young heroes have arrived in New Firestone a village built of crystalline spider webs. Let's see if the picture from last week can work there. Uh, they've built it beside an ancient pyramid ruin. Their group are debating whether they should sneak into the mysterious off-limits pyramid, go searching in the northern wilderness for the candy-leaving wood witch, speak to the arachnomancer architect mayor, or just leave town and make their way to the coast city of Rum Rumble. And that's where we're going to pick up on this uh, tropical island full of adventure. And uh, you guys take it away, whoever wants to instigate something. Where'd we leave off? We were just kind of discussing what we wanted to do and where we wanted to go and all that sort of thing, right? Yeah. But did somebody make a decision over the week? That sounds like forethought. <laughs> that like is it, is it, did we argue all day? Like, is it nighttime? I forget. Uh, no, it is probably getting closer to lunch hour because mm -hmm. you guys have been walking around the city, talking to some of the locals and doing some magic and discussing amongst yourselves. No, we went and talked to the mayor's daughter, but she was a bit mean. So... Apparently the mayor's a good guy. Um, I'm, in, I'm inclined to go talk to the mayor if he's good. If he's a good person, then maybe he can point us in the right direction. What did you say, Zip? Did you say you want to talk to the mayor? Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's. I mean, what else are we going to do? Let's go talk to the mayor. We have to wait for the ship or something? Yeah, like, we've got two days, unless we want to get our own boat. Yeah, so it's not like we're in a rush to go anywhere. In perhaps four or five days, if we wanted to stay a little bit longer, uh, you know, investigate some of the, the local happenings. I wonder if, yeah. yeah. It feels more productive to just go, uh, yeah, let's, I mean, if you guys want to go, we should just go now. <laughs> you want to walk? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's right there, right? Down the street. Oh, I thought you meant, like, leave town. Oh, yeah, no. Let's go to the mayor. Let's go. Well, what, this is, what's the purpose of going to see the mayor? I don't know, just, just talk to him. Bored. He seems like a cool <laughs> guy. Well, we want to. Like wanna... stick in the mud. Oh no, he's gifted. That's why. Yeah. And maybe he can help us. I don't know. Also, if we want to go in there, we should like. And I point at the big pyramid. So, if we want to go in there, we, we probably should get permission first. I thought you. Uh, the... Yeah, I thought last week you were all about saying we shouldn't get permission. Uh, you're saying that. It's uh, one thing we shouldn't do is tell them we want to go inside. Ooh. Yes. 
Who's, wait, who's saying this? I mean, if, if we want to find out more information about the pyramid in order to get in, but what she seems very set, at least from what we found out so far, she seems very set on uh, forbidding people from going in and discovering anything about it. Well, I'm going to go talk to him anyway. Maybe he knows something about these drownings on this piece of paper. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and she does not have a way. my parents. And he oh. has the key to my past. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to start All right, let's go. wandering off towards <laughs> the mayor's go. house. <laughs> All right. So the mayor's house is probably the most interesting and varied in its shape. Uh, you know, being an architect, you know, showing off the weird things he's able to construct. So if one of you feels like drawing that, if not, you can leave it for me. Uh, whatever, I don't care. We can all do Is our own shaped versions. shaped like a big spider? If you want it to be, absolutely. <coughs> it's shaped like pretty much anything you want. What's, uh, uh, what's his personality? Like? You're gonna, you're gonna find out. Okay. Smoke comes out of the, where the spirit, the silk normally would. It's like a chimney. <laughs> That's um, the chimney. Yeah. The, <laughs> the outsides, they look like this, like they're sort of like stained glass windows in three dimension or that kind of thing. And that's how the they, they're built between, like they do the webbing and that sort of the crystalline layer areas filled in between them. Um, so you guys make your way there and there's no, like there, there's a, door there, but there's no other formality or anything that would prevent you from, like, there's no special thing that says, you know, public over here, guests over here, there's, it's not like a, a public building that has a particular way of inviting people inside. Um, I'll just knock on the door. Um, the door creaks open. And you see a actually it wouldn't creak open. It wouldn't be. It would be moist here. So yeah, it, it's it's in the jungle, awesome. right? Does no, it have a door? Does it have like a just like um, what's it? Kind of like a curtain over the door to allow airflow? No, it's it's uh, it's got it. Definitely has like a crystalline door uh, to help protect Maybe. from things that try to get in. And. Uh, there's a spider on the other side at the top of the door that's opened the door from the inside. And it looks at you with its eight glowing red eyes. Uh, can you talk to this one? Yeah. Oh, um, are you asking me? You're Jeez. a bug, right? <laughs> I think <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> I go up to this one. Yeah. Uh, hey. Are you the mayor? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Is the mayor a spider? <laughs> yeah. I mean... Hello. Oh. Hello there. No, I am not the mayor. I am the, one of the mayor's associates. Do you have an appointment? Uh, he's asking if we have an appointment. Oh, um, um, yes. I, uh, uh, we have a 12 o'clock with the mayor. Yeah, we yeah we have appointment coming up in ten minutes. Is he ready to see us? Yeah, we'll check. And the spider scurries along the ceiling and up some stairs. Okay. And shortly thereafter, uh, you hear a voice from upstairs and some chuckling. And then uh, coming down the stairs is a fairly built drow um, knowing that you maybe wanted to visit with him I actually did a drawing of him during the week I good thing we here. visited him <laughs> <laughs> so he's got uh, oh, sort of... look at those luscious lips <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and those mutton chops Oh, well, it doesn't seem to be showing up. It doesn't seem to be showing up on Twitch. Oh, oh no. Uh, 
that's too bad. That's okay. Let me do a recreation yeah. drawing of it. <laughs> I'm on board with that. But I'm quite enamored with two squares, to be show. honest. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> before before I get rid of it, let me say that if you look on the tattoos, he has one on each shoulder that uh, Swell would recognize. The mm -hmm. one being the uh, god of the sun, and the other one being uh, the god of knowledge. Okay. God of the sun and the god of knowledge. Yeah. Kind of like, I'll look at both of them, and I'll look up at his face, and see those beautiful lips, and then just kind of back off <laughs> Why, hello! We don't often get uh, teen visitors coming to town. What can I do for you? Um, hello, my name is Zip, and I am the drow, as you can see. <clears throat> Yes. Yes. Um, my friends and I are here on a quest to find out about my family. Well, <laughs> you, you're the spitting image of your mother. Am I? Uh, yes. Mm. <laughs> I, I strike a dramatic chord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you know who my mother is? I think so, but she was lost at sea a long time ago. Yes! Is she well? I was lost at sea! I was lost at sea, too! This is... Well, I'm so glad to see that you're alive! Uh, uh, welcome back to the fold, I suppose. Uh, but the way you're talking, your parents have not made it? No, I, I, I didn't really know them. Um, I was raised here in the Rainbow Archipelago by uh, uh, like a turtle. His name is um, Titus. I don't know. Maybe you know him. He was he's one of the Titan players. Oh, I've heard of Titus. I've not never met Titus. Yeah, me and my sister. Uh, my sister is an orc. Her name is Mog, and mm. um, we washed up on the shore together. And then and then he raised us. Uh, um. I'm so happy that you've come back. Uh, do, do you know who your parents were? No, I only know that my that uh, they called me uh, Zipanti. Yes. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna like it, Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> you are not allowed to call me that, Zipanti. <laughs> Zapanthi, it's, uh, it, I, I don't know if that's I, a family name or if it was, like, my... It was your grandmother's. Really? Yes, on your father's side. Really? Grandma yes. Zapanthi. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and punch <laughs> He's <laughs> real in the shoulder. <laughs> yes, uh... Ow. Uh, <laughs> You're just losing the fist. <laughs> if I recall, she was... Quite the excellent uh, log splitter. Had a, a wonderful technique. Me too. I'm great at splitting logs. Yes. Well, excellent. Excellent. Um, you, your your mother's name was uh, Zix Log Runner. Did she also split logs? <laughs> yes, she did. She was not just not just splitting them, but able to deftly carved them as well. She was a, uh, became more uh, in in demand for her ability to create beautiful things with them, like the the figurehead of a boat or the uh, decorations on the outside of a fine building. I, I worked with her a few times. Was she gifted? Were no. my parents gifted? No, no, no. I'm afraid the only person from the village who was gifted was me. Even my own daughter has not been gifted. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gifted. Really? Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. What are you going to do with your gift? Um. Well, my oh, no. master, Titus, has been uh, encased in a crystal that's on the back of uh, some kind of Titan chimera. So number one priority, going to get him out of there. And then, I don't know. 
Whew. Well, I, falling in with one of those Titan Slayers has probably caused you some grief and difficulty. Um, I would encourage you to perhaps find other avenues for your gifts than going out and fighting and causing grief in the world, but I can see your heart set on it, so I, I won't try to really persuade you. I'm, I'm not in earnest. You should follow your heart, but I will tell you, as a gifted person, I found great satisfaction for myself, maybe not for you, but my road was to work for the people by staying with the people instead of traipsing off on adventures, um, which that was my call. Uh, well, Titus always said that I should use my gift to help people. Oh, and I think he meant like fighting. I don't know. That's all he taught us. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's one of the downsides of having only one teacher. Um. Well, uh, oh, uh, your father's name was Viggen Stronghall. Viggen. Viggen Stronghall. He was a, he was a shipwright. And, so uh, my parents were sailors. How did? How come their? Uh, how come their ship? That I wish I knew. I have a great deal of magic in the terms of speaking with spiders and creating things to, for people to live in architecture. But uh, not so much with uh, seeing uh, things that have happened long ago or things from far away. Not really developed my scrying skills. Can scrying see into the past? I do not know if it can, to be honest. Um, I know there are some ways to see into the past, but I, I'm not sure if they would use the word scrying. I, I'm not an expert. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you want to talk about flying buttresses? Um, flying the what's up? I guess. <laughs> That's possibly the basics. <laughs> the way to support a large building, such as a, a temple or a church or something. But you, you're not interested. Um, so you've come on a pilgrimage here. That's wonderful. Um, have you... Have you been partaking in our uh, food and drink and? Uh huh. Yeah, every... it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Has everybody been making you feel welcome? Yeah, yeah. They taught me all, all the songs, and uh, I drank a beer, and I ate, I don't know, some kind of fish. Well, that's excellent. Uh, welcome to the neighborhood. Um, are you staying? Um. Should I have no. a house built for you? <laughs> Um. <laughs> how long can you build? How how long will it take you to build a house? Ooh, it depends on the size, I guess. There are quite a few of you. I mean, sure. Yeah, Absolutely. build us a house. <laughs> how, how, well, how a uh, uh, four bedroom house? How long would that take? A few weeks. Oh, okay. You know. While you're building that house, maybe we'll just go and rescue our masters, and then we can bring them back here, and they can, they can meet you. Um, for a visit, I wouldn't want to have a group of Titan Slayers drawing attention to our village. Well, I mean, they wouldn't all want to stay here. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, um, where's your sister? Um, she. Where was she again? In the desert? Yeah, in the Glass Dominion. She's also uh, gifted, and she's on um, her first trial in the Glass Dominion. Oh. Well, good luck to her. Why? It's not a nice place. <laughs> well, you know, Mog's pretty strong, so <clears throat> she can handle anything that that they oh. earlier. It's, it's not necessarily... Um, about strength, but unpleasant people. <laughs> well, but I'm sure you meant strength of character as well. I'm yeah. sure any sister of yours is a wonderful person. She definitely uh, showed the, uh, 
the kids in our neighborhood not to make fun of me. Good. Or, or how to make fun of you the proper way, with your permission. No, they never have permission. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't enjoy a good banter? No. Oh, well, they're worse things. Is that a drow thing? In the tri rhyme, we found it a good idea to laugh at ourselves at each other, and that's how we perhaps made peace with the Durgar and the Sneverflabin, that we were all able to, uh, to find humor in our differences in ourselves and, you know, take the vinegar out of one another without getting too upset. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at, totally. At that's, point. that's totally like me. <laughs> he just walks off <laughs> around a corner for a second. You hear some laughter. <laughs> Sorry, my friends. He's drunk. <laughs> yeah. It's not even midday. <laughs> I, uh,. I think that the drow ale was just too strong for him. He, he has a very weak constitution. Well, it's not even wrong about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's what it was. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? Anything else more you wish to know, or? Um, yeah. Do Do you have any pictures of my family since you knew them so well? Oh. How, oh, how did you know? Not. How did you know them, sir? Are they are they family friends or? They're from the same village, and like I said, I had worked with them uh, with your mother uh, several times on projects uh, where I was designing the large structure and she was designing the the fine details, the decorations and the decor. That was more her. She didn't build a log cabin, but she built the aesthetic accoutrement. Uh, like the, 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 furn the furniture and the, or the sofas or? Um, like if there was a pillar, mm -hmm. there would be an interesting carving on the pillar. Oh, oh okay. okay. I carved this necklace and I'm going to show him the very bad carving that's on my necklace. You know, I well, think I might have inherited some of that. I'm uh, I suppose it, you might have inherited some of it, <laughs> uh, but your mother spent a long time with her craft. So um, are, are all drows, um, like sailors? Oh, no. Most of us are not. But, uh, when you live up there, uh, it's a good way to go out and get some fish for food and, uh, visit with, uh, places where you can maybe, uh, you know, trade, learn new things. Uh, it was an important skill to be able to swim. Most drow knew how to swim. Do you know if, if there's anyone from my family that's still alive? Um, I do not know. Unfortunately, um, they were a bit of the black sheep in their group um and so they wanted to come here and uh the rest of their your family did not uh your grandmother has passed unfortunately uh that happened before uh they left but uh i don't know about the rest of your family and uh Did, did the whole ship go down? Were there any, any survivors from the ship? We haven't had any arrive. You're the first. So there may have been others. Do you know if there were other orcs on the ship as well? I do not recall any orcs. Anybody other than uh, Drow. And uh, we did have a few uh, Durgar that wanted to come with us. and have. Uh, there are a few in this village here that have come. Oh. Um, and one Sliver Flippin. 
but uh, mostly it's it's drow. Never any orcs. Not that we wouldn't welcome them, but uh, mostly they were people who set off from the Tririme, and there aren't a lot of orcs there. There are a few orc communities, but certainly don't make up the bulk of our population. Mm -hmm. uh. And Mog is going to lose her mind. I have so many questions, but I don't know where to begin. Are, are you gifted as well, all of you? Uh, yeah. Well, no. most of us. I will say, I, I, I am. She is. <laughs> those two are. And the others, yeah. <laughs> and Sutran pops up and is like. Oh, yeah. And I'll lift Sutran up on my hand and be like, she is as well. Or point one of us. Yeah, we got uh, <laughs> teleported here. Uh, to this island? As part of your pilgrimage. Yeah, yeah. And we're just trying to uh, get back to one of our master's friends. Uh, uh, do you know, like, all of the gifted people? Yeah, you guys, no. like, in the club or something? Yeah, is that like... <laughs> I, I've avoided most of them. Right. What what are your gifts? What what sort of things can you do? As I said, I'm uh, an arachnomancer, a, a wizard who is able to communicate with spiders and create things uh, with my magic, like yeah. But buildings. you've got you've got symbols of gods on tattooed on you there. Oh yes, uh, Brovon, mm -hmm. uh, god of knowledge and exercise. Look at these guns, and sorry. Look at look at these wands. No, what would be one they use as equivalent? Uh, broomsticks. No. <laughs> um, look at look at these bars. <laughs> these ingots. These ingots. These, ma these maces. <laughs> these war hammers. Yep. Um. And he. Uh, Says, and the other one, yes, of course, one of the reasons I moved here was uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Zeo, the god of sun and light, bringing light to everyone. Uh, and I didn't find a lot of the sun up in the Tririme, which is one of the reasons we came here, to enjoy the heat and the sun. Um, if you have a moment, I can tell you about my lord and savior, Sunda. He's pretty cool. Oh, I know about Sunda. Uh, okay. it's, he's not he's kind of the opposite of Zeo so mm. not I'm not saying I have a problem but not applicable to the way I live my life that's fair I, yeah I, I, I don't like like peddling my unique brand of um, <clears throat> stuff but you know I, I think he's cool what kind of what kind of um stuff can you build? Can you build like a, a flying machine? I've never built a flying machine before. I suppose I might be able to build a machine and animate it. I suppose it's possible. Or what I guess, or a, a, a boat. A boat. <laughs> um, I've built <laughs> boats before, but uh, why? I don't. I don't know. Just wondering, because we're trying to find a way to get to the uh, sea as fast as possible. Oh, well, there's a path out of town. It's only a couple of days' travel. If you stay on the path, it's very safe. I think uh, we're going we're gonna to get a lift with one of the boats in a couple of days. Yes, that works too. We ferry back and forth. 
because it's pretty quick. Fairly frequently. And what if you wander off the path? Oh, there's a apparently a most locals say there's a wood witch that lives there. Hmm. Gives people candy. The candy witch. They disappear, yes, too. Unfortunately, we've had a few mm. villages, mostly children, disappear. Well, I mean, wait, villages wait. of children. Children who live in the uh, village uh, disappear. Uh, uh, what 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 do you know about this can this candy witch? Uh, not very much. I try to avoid her, warn people against going out there, just like I warn people against going into the pyramid or warn against going, you know, out on the greater wider world. That I protect people that are here in this within our community, with my buildings, but uh I don't look after the people once they go out. If they go out, that's their business, unfortunately. I mean, speaking of, um, where we are gifted, um, if you like, we can we can take care of your witch problem and your pyramid problem, and and we'd be we'd be happy to do it, of course. A pyramid is no problem. If you oh. want to look into the witch, you're welcome to. I thought people, as long as you don't bring the ire back on us here. It... Didn't, didn't the pyramid, didn't you lose some people in the pyramid? Yes, my brother and some others, but uh, we what can find them. them. They were insisted on investigating, despite me saying it was a terrible idea, and they have not returned. And I don't imagine they will return. What if they're like stuck in there though? Then they are skeletons or something now. Aren't you like you... curious at all what's in there? Really? So if you if you if someone went in there and could possibly need help, you wouldn't lift a finger or try to go in to ask you them. If I warned them over and over again about how bad an idea it was and told them not to go in, and they said I'm going in anyways, no. Hmm. How, how did you know that they? It was uh, what? dangerous in the first place. Well, one of the reasons we were allowed to settle here was because of the Wood Witch and the Pyramid, which are sort of no-go zones for the locals uh, on Sleeping Thunder. And when I came and spoke with some of the people from the neighboring towns and said I'd like to set up a village somewhere, Everybody in this area was very amenable to me starting a village here because it was a place they did not want to live. Now, the pyramid has been dormant, much like the volcano, has had no trouble, but it's like a volcano. It could erupt if you disturb it. The pyramid so, can erupt? It's a metaphor. It's like a poem with words. Do all poems have words? I'll you kind of look sideways at Priscilla. <laughs> make a poem of... I'm just kind of... <laughs> roll eyes. Poems have rhythm, and you can do a picture of a poem. Stick to architecture. <laughs> <laughs> Architecture's a poem. I would say it's an art form, but... I don't know. I we just wanted to help is all. We wanted to be show that we can be helpful and yeah. Since you're building us a house and everything, you know. Oh, like I, I choose this island then. It's the only place that you could find shelter is in the middle of all these dangerous things, such that you choose to live right next to a dangerous thing, even when you refuse to deal with it. I don't have to deal with it though. It just stays there. It doesn't do anything. But it doesn't do anything until it does do something, and then you could have done something about it before it did the something. So acting prima, like, you, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't interest you. There's no curiosity in you to know what anything here was about. I have seen enough of my friends and family brought down by their own curiosity, especially foolish teenagers who think that they know better than I care to count. 
I mean, we're not all teenagers, but we, you know. Yeah, one of us is 12. If one of us is a child. <laughs> <laughs> one of you is a hand and one of you is a no. box. But still. Okay. Uh, yeah. That sounds pretty reasonable, actually. <laughs> I mean, the thing about if volcanoes... Enough people disappear. Yeah. In the pyramid. Although none of them are gifted and we are gifted. Uh, this just makes so. you more arrogant. Well, not, um, not at all. No. Oh, impossible. Except for I, him. Yeah, he can I, be more arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, if you, you've come here insisting, you're brand new to the city, you want to know about your relatives, I'm happy to tell you that. I offer to make you a home for all of you, even though only one of you was originally part of our, cl our clan. I don't even ask a lot of questions. And then immediately, you're like, let me poke this hornet's nest. We'd li really like to poke this hornet's nest. Why don't you go poke this hornet's nest? So it's okay for us so, to poke the hornet's nest? No. What oh. I'm saying is, you are very arrogant to come here and insist that I am doing a bad job by not letting you and other people go investigate the pyramid. I mean, I didn't say that. Who said that? Nobody said any such thing, so if you lay that into our words, I think it may be uh, your own insecurity is talking. We just want to be helpful. We want to, we want to, we want yes, to prove that we can do good. and I told you it wasn't good. helpful, and you keep needling at it. And saying that I'm wrong for doing so. For, for not letting you do it. So you, okay. won't let us, you won't let us do it then? You won't let us go in the pyramid? If you go in... potentially find the lost if, people? If you go in, you will likely die. I'm not going to kill you. But... Mm. I think... Yeah. If you have respect for our community here, that one of your members seems to want to belong to, then you would listen to our rules. It's yeah, not a... Guys, you should listen to his rules. It's not an outlandish rule. We don't have a lot of terrible rules here. Don't, don't go, go in, in these pyramid. pyramid. It's brutal. not a particularly bad rule. I get it. You don't want people going into the big murder death trap, so that's... No, no, no. It's good. Okay. I would rather not have your deaths on my conscience like I have my brothers. Okay. Alright. Understood. Um, yeah. Should, uh, yeah. So should we... <laughs> this awkward conversation has been taking place on his doorstep. By the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I figured you also made your way into the the foyer of his house. Okay. Um, I don't know. I kind of like that idea of yeah. us haranguing him on his doorstep. Like, okay. Yeah, sure. Never <laughs> he never invited us in. We yeah. just awkwardly stood there the whole time. <laughs> the spider um, is watching our conversation. Like, what was, never had a what was my mother's name again? I didn't write it down. Your mother's name was Zix X I X Log Runner. Is that in your in your notes? You got the the book? It was. And the other one is Vigan Stronghall. Hall like oh, the boat. And that's your father. So my grandma was oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. That's oh, my. And my grandmother was on my father's side? Yeah. And they were the black sheep. And uh, the, something in the drawing that was there of the drow is that he had some black here as he's starting to go black in his older age. Oh. Uh, uh, in our home game with uh, K 
Caitlin and Matt a while ago, we established in our house rules that uh, instead of going white as they get older, drow hair goes black. I can't remember what other tattoos he had. Also, I can't remember what he's wearing, so I just put him in this weird tunic thing. <laughs> God, I think you got the most important trait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. This other tattoo is the holy symbol of Brovon, which is like fist with a bicep that goes into, or not, where the bicep of the arm goes into a book. Oh, it's like it's like a book, but it's got two muscly arms doing the. That's right. Yeah. Because that was. That was going to be my my god of choice to begin with, I think, but I went with this one instead. Um, I'm going to ask him some more specific questions about my parents, like, what were their favorite colors? What did they like to eat? Where did they grow up? He invites you to come back and have dinner with him without the rest of the group, and he'll answer all your questions. Okay. Or he can meet you at a tavern or something if you'd prefer to eat somewhere else. No, I'll eat at his house. I want to ask my questions in peace without being laughed at by his for real. <laughs> you can't escape that voice inside your head that will be laughing at you as you think about his for real. <laughs> I was an artist, I'd make one of those little things that's just like constant laughter <laughs> to the back. All right. Well, we should we should go. This has been fun and educational. Thank yeah. you. For, thank you for your time, sir. Blessings of the gods upon you. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, at least we found out more information about Zip's parents. Did you get what you want, wanted out of that interaction bug? Well, it's... we got to see his uh, luscious lips. <laughs> <laughs> to see as much as <laughs> and that was what you wanted? <laughs> You're about as strange as I am. That was Zip the, feels I, slightly confused I, <laughs> about him. <laughs> She's not quite sure where to look. <laughs> they are, they were they really magne uh, magnetic. <laughs> yeah. like the idea of being drawn back yeah. to space. It's like I couldn't, I couldn't argue against that, you know? <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I mean, now it makes me feel like we shouldn't go into the pyramid, because yeah, now that what he said was very bad. reasonable. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's... Uh, are we away from his house now? Yeah, I'm going to say that you guys have yeah. walked away and are amongst yourselves. I don't know. Was... Don't you think it's kind of cowardly that he, like, left his brother in there, like, didn't even go to look for him? Yes. And it just seems strange to live next to a. Um, it's a ticking. A ticking, <laughs> a ticking, ticking volcano. Yeah. <laughs> ticking volcano. It's the thing about volcanoes is is you can't you don't know when they're gonna go off because they just go off whenever they want. It's I mean, just nature, it's not man. Actually, a volcano. Though, no, but right? he's the one that used the volcano metaphor. Right. <laughs> yeah, but we might disturb whatever is inside and. Yeah, disturb it to death. For everyone. <laughs> if you're that adamant about it leading to death, I don't know that there's that much gain for us and to be found in it. It would be something to pass the time while we wait, but <laughs> uh, we could also go see about this witch who Let's just... seems rather, I mean, rather We could also himself. just like sleep for two days. <laughs> I'm surprised that you want to go back into the jungle. We, we want to be productive. Let's just get canoes and go. She, she has candy. Let's, let's just get canoes and go. I got to admit, I am kind of interested in this forbidden candy. 
I mean, yeah, me too. The, Dresdick, I don't know, so Yarva pipes up and she says, Bug, if you could talk to the spiders, you'd ask them if they'd ever been there. And they said no, but if we ask some forest creatures, if you can do that, we might find out some more. We don't have to go well, the whole way. that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's, I let's... mean, you asked some homebodies, right? Like some, yep, some spiders yeah. that don't go out a lot. That's true. Some I suspect it would be like asking the male about what's inside of the tail. Never been. Doesn't but if you ask, you ask like a bird or something that's flown over there, they might have some information. I say, let's yeah, go Ash, Let's go down the docks. Here. Let's get some canoes. Let's go find this witch. Let's, let's just go now. Let's strike while the iron's hot. Let's let's do it. What, why do we need it, canoes to find Because we witch? get there faster. Is it on the path? I thought it was... The, wait, it, is, isn't it inland? It is inland as far as you know. There might be a tributary that would take you close to it. But uh, mm. the... No, tributary is the big one. Or is the small one? I forget. Uh, it's the small one. The small one. So yeah, the tributary, there may be a tributary that would take you nearer to it or closer to it, but the map only indicates like the real major rivers. So, I mean... Um, and I would like to say that right after you're saying, I think we should strike while the iron's hot, swell, your stomach goes, rum, rum, lunch time. Oh. <laughs> right after lunch. Yeah, get some food. Maybe we could try and find some other food. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe some like witch candy. <laughs> well, I, don't... I don't know if I can eat another pickled fish. Wait, they that's not the only food they have. Right? They, 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 they have like... other food. Yeah. You should uh the proc, the tabaxi in your group says, Well then we should go to uh to Liquid Drums and find out where he eats. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah. Let's go. All right. You guys pop oh, back right. in yeah. to Liquid Drums' uh, weaving place. And he's like, oh, back so soon. What's going on, cats? I was just wondering if you had any recommendations for a good place to find food around here that isn't pickled fish. <laughs> yeah, OK. And he gives you instructions to mm -hmm. a place that's not actually a restaurant, but is uh, a couple of locals that just make enough food and then sell it to some of the other locals um, mm -hmm. out of their own house and you can go there and get some some stew or fresh uh, fruits <laughs> and veggies and things okay that's that's his burial that, that's <laughs> the end of his burial still burial. laughing <laughs> 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 He, he's just going as <laughs> a <the> fancy. <laughs> Damn it! No, I shouldn't have said anything. So that means that probably means that zip is starts with an X, right? Instead of a Z. I don't know. How do you spell zip? I mean, Z -I, I spell it with a Z. But if it's a panthe, then it's X I P. It's a nickname, swell. It's like swell is short for swell. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, you was... didn't know? It's it's actually short for Swellicus. Swell you, mental never. I like that. Your mental never told you. Swellicus. Swellicles. Swellicles. <laughs> <laughs> what's Bug short for? Yeah, what's Bug short for? Uh, Bug bear. <laughs> Baganthi. <laughs> Foxy long for. Fox. Foxy is short for fox to you. Boxtifer. Boxtifer, that was it. That was, <laughs> when we were talking about Boxy in the, our pre-games, weren't we saying Boxtifer was his name? <laughs> boxy. Or Boxyander. Boxy. Boxander. <laughs> Box of lander. <laughs> um, so you're yeah. able to get some non-drow lunch, and uh, it costs you for the whole group nothing because your friends buy it for you. Oh, thanks, guys. Hey. 
No, wor no worries. It's been no. entertaining hanging out with you guys. Like, so we're gonna go try to find this witch, but like, you totally don't have to come if you don't want to, because I know that's like, pretty crazy stuff. We were talking it over, and we decided that we'd come with you to the witch, but we wouldn't go into the pyramid. Okay. We would wait for you outside the pyramid, like if you to see. Hopefully, you'd come back. But you know. No, because if we like, went in and didn't come back, we need you to come get us. Yeah. Would you come and get us if we got stuck inside the pyramid? Uh, you know. We're not gifted. We don't like get to sleep and then suddenly our arms not broken anymore. Yeah, so was, you're saying that joking. you would leave us to die in the pyramid. Yeah. That's yeah. cold. That's real cold. I'm gonna remember that. Next time you're in trouble. Zip will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but we will come with you to check out the witch and try and get you mm. out of there. If okay. there's trouble. All right. All right. Rescue. But, I, I'm going to say to, what was the snake boy's name again? I always forget. Dresdick. I'm going to say to Dresdick in my like most flirtatious voice, would you save me from the witch? <laughs> he's like sort of taken off guard because you've been very cold on him lately. And he's like, uh, um, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Yeah, you would totally save me from the witch. Yeah, I'd, I'd split her like a, a log. Uh, uh, chop her down like a tree. <laughs> you know, my mom was a log splitter too. I heard. Yeah. We got a lot of common. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those fish again. things. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you know, um, one of these days I'm going to break your arm. <laughs> she will. Oh, I will make you look gratis. <laughs> so after lunch, are you guys planning to rent the canoes? Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's just do it. I, I think we should just go. If you walk, know. it'd take you about half a day to get to sort of the outside of that purple circle. Okay. So you could be there by evening. Do we want to be there during the night, though, or do we want to, like... Wait, the canoe takes longer, or...? Canoe would be a little bit faster. But you don't know if it for sure goes to where you want to go. You could take it faster and then try and uh, portage or bushwhack your way into where it might be. Well, if the path leads in there um, already, or is that area already... Oh, we know it goes in that direction, and All right. frankly, I'm a little bit curious about this candy. Yo, yeah, let's I'm take like the candy 90 in this for the candy. <laughs> take the, the <laughs> intended route, the intended candy route. Yeah. Um, Dresdick awkwardly says, did you know there's a candy called Zips? Of course you yeah. did. We covered this in the first episode. But he's trying to sound smart and interesting. Oh. Uh, yeah. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying, you, you like candy and there's one named after you. That's pretty sweet. No, wait, well, I didn't mean that like a name, pun. <laughs> whole name is the Panther, so unless there's a candy named that. <laughs> I said you were not allowed to call me that. <laughs> you think I would listen? <laughs> is it Panther? Yeah. <laughs> Make you listen. Yeah, well, what if I started calling you, calling you East Boreal? Like you're boring. Oh. <laughs> can we just assume that this is happening while we're walking into the jungle? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, we're walking into the jungle. Oh, it would. Then I would have to say that, frankly, I am Roma and you're blue, so it would just rebound off of me and stick to you. Wow, you're like nine years old. <laughs> Why don't you write a song about it? I'm Bubba, and you're Glue. What do you say? <laughs> Jumps off of me and sticks to you. So if I said, you're awesome, bounces right off you back to me. I am awesome. You're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Does this hair speak of not awesome? It doesn't. 
and he runs a hand through his, which looks like suspiciously shiny, but maybe it's just wet. <laughs> suspiciously shiny? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, your hair looks kind of greasy today, actually. When was the last time you washed? When was the last time you washed? Actually, any of us have washed. <laughs> Frankly. That's fair. <laughs> Mm. Touche. Um, swell. Yes. They. Everybody said, "Can we?" Or uh, not everybody. But when Caitlin said, "Can we ha be doing this on the way out?" Yeah. I said, "Yeah, okay, we can assume that." But if we're gonna do that, I want to step back just for a second to say that as you're leaving the town, mm. you take one last sort of look over your shoulder at the town, and as you look at the pyramid you feel you hear like a sort of a distant peal of thunder and a feel within yourself that that place feels unholy and wrong i'll just kind of squint my eyes at it and look at it and i'll do one of these point of my eyes point at the temple coming back for you temple it feels foreboding like your god is trying to warn you away from it like maybe we're not high enough level yet <laughs> I, no. That's what Cinder is saying to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, you there's like a little no, red kidding. skull above it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Okay. So it's like it's 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 kind of like there's something evil about it that I should be worried about. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, I I I'm totally prepared for you guys to go in. I have rooms detailed and stuff like that. So. Even though there are characters and forces telling you not to go in, that doesn't mean you guys can't go in. It's all up to you. I don't care. Um, I want you to go where you find the interesting story. So you guys... You are much more forgiving GM than someone played with. <laughs> yeah, if you start, like, if when you guys start teleporting, then I'll get in trouble when you're like, oh, let's teleport to the moon, or let's teleport to, you know, like, oh, I don't, I don't know what that city's like yet. I haven't developed it. But right now you're... You don't have a moon city on hand? Right. <laughs> well, because they have... You, you're surrounded by a ring rather than a moon, right? Right. So not, you know. There's multiple moon cities on multiple yeah. moon rocks. It just means, like, lots of, yeah, lots of villages. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so while you guys are walking, uh, you know, is there anything you want specifically to be accomplishing like you know is there a skill check you want to do is there like oh when i get to this i'm going to cast that spell or is there anything i need to know about before i just say this is an external thing that happens uh, i'm going to be on the lookout for candy okay um i i can guide us a little bit with that ring so I, i'm happy to do a survival check i think it was right but the path is pretty clearly marked. Okay. Um, it's a nice wide path. You've been told that last week that if you go off the path, uh, there are a whole bunch of winding paths that are dangerous, but the one that's very wide is safe to travel on. The only thing I will say is that when when Zip and East Burial are arguing about Zip's name, I'll just kind of mutter under my breath that I think it sounds pretty, and then that's that's it. Um, so then give me a perception check for candy spotting. Uh, uh, 14. All right. 13. You don't want to. Wait, do we all do it? Do anybody, do it? If, if, if anybody is specifically looking, I, I heard that one person was looking, so I asked for a roll. Um, if other people had other things they wanted to be looking for or um, other things they want to be doing. But. Uh, oh, well, actually, in that case, then I might look more scan in the surrounding jungle to see any other approaching dangers. Uh, sure. I think instead that of just specifically means... instead of candy. Okay. After you know an hour and a half, you guys have seen some interesting birds. You've seen like hummingbirds flying by, uh, and you've seen 
uh, you know, some ones that are like uh, as brightly colored as parrots, but smaller, hopping from branch to branch, doing little dances, having fun. It seems like a very safe, nice place to be. And then after a couple hours of walking, Zip does spot that there is a candy, like a, not, actually not really a candy so much as like a tiny, about this size, Caitlin, about this big, like a little chocolate tort just sitting in the middle of one of the side paths. I'm gonna like hold my hands out and be like, oh, there it is, there it is. I'm gonna oh, approach yeah, it cautiously. Were we going to, uh, wasn't Bug going to talk to like some of the animals around here to see what they knew about the which is area? Yeah. Yeah, I figure I'll talk to animals when we get closer because they might not, you know, it's just a normal forest. But yeah. So, uh, as if you approach and you see a regular looking chocolate thing, it looks kind of like this, like this little disc. And uh, it's sitting on the ground. Um, there's some, there's uh, a, there are other insects around, but none of them seem to be Going is it on it. a plate or is it just sitting in the dirt? It's sitting on a leaf. On a leaf. <laughs> okay, oh. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna like look around to see if if uh, there's any sign of the witch around the the cake. Are you looking specifically f like any sign of the witch? Meaning like a a person, or you mean like like did they leave a like footprints Footprint or something like? Or yeah, if I can sense anyone like you know, watching me or anything like that. Just be so, being alert. Okay. As um, I there's it. sort of different sets of skills. So I just wanted to figure out like, one is like knowing whether somebody has walked past and that's sort of more nature-y survival-y stuff. And the other one is like spotting anybody who's hiding, which is more perception. I and think I'll that... probably go with perception then. Okay. Ooh, uh, dirty 20. There is nobody around here. You feel like there, if there, there aren't enough good hiding spots right now. Okay, I'm gonna take out my sword, and I'm gonna poke it. I, your sword has a little bit of chocolate on the end of it. <laughs> I'm gonna like, oh. I'm gonna like get it off with my finger, and like sniff it. No, it smells. Uh, sorry, go on. It smells like chocolate. All right, I'm gonna lick it. Tastes like chocolate. So the boya, or uh, sorry, the bug. Um, don't you have that the specs of the hand thing? Yeah. Do you, do you think it's dangerous? It looks just like a piece of chocolate on the floor. Tastes like chocolate. I can't say it. I think it's a oh. chocolate. <laughs> Oh, uh, are there any um, animals close to us, like birds or anything yeah. on the tree? Yeah, there's insects. We'll say there's, you know, you can see a bird sitting or over, you know, very colorful bird just hopping around. I'm going to talk to the bird and, be, and say, uh, do you know, do you know who put, do you know who put that chocolate there? Hey. Yeah. Oh, uh, who? Uh, yeah, you. What did you see? Hey. <laughs> what they say? Hi. Hello. Hi. You? Do you understand me? Hello. Oh no, this bird is uh. Can't can't really give us any. Information other than saying hi. Do okay. Uh, what is it? A dumbbell or something? Yeah, what's wrong with it? <laughs> hmm. Uh, here, let. 
I mean, let's, uh... I get out a scrap of food on my, on my uh, jacket. That's <laughs> stuck on my jacket and I try to be friendly. I hold the food to, uh, to the bird and be like, hello, hello there, you want some food? Ah. It flies down and it goes, oh, thanks. Okay, and then I, I ask the bird again, I'm like, you see the chocolate on the floor? Yeah. Do you know where it came from? Yeah. Oh, where did it come from? From the lady. Uh, uh who's which lady? Do you know? Yeah, do you know a her? Which lady? <laughs> why did why does she leave the chocolate on the floor? I don't know. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. it. Smells what? funny. I look at it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, is I it trying to... um, Do you think I'm poisoned? What happens when What happens when you eat it? I don't know. It smells funny. I guess we'll find out. I don't eat chocolate. Chocolate's bad for you. Do you know where she? Uh, do Chocolate's you know where, for people. Where this... Oh, right. Do Do you know where the witch lady lives? No, I see her leave chocolate sometimes. Sometimes other things. Sometimes Is good she... things I eat. But not chocolate. Chocolate's bad for you. If you're a bird. Well, who, well, who does she li leave the chocolate for then? Oh. Sometimes ants like chocolate. Sometimes I eat ants. Ants eat chocolate. So the chocolates are good. This chocolate is good for the ants. Mm. No, because then they get eaten by me. It's good okay. for me. I see. Well, the, okay. It seems like the bird just doesn't like the chocolate, but maybe it's fine. I'm also trying to role play a bird brain here. <laughs> like animals are not super smart. Yeah. Uh, well, I ate it, and I'm not dead. So you ate the whole thing, Zip? No, I just like ate it. I like scooped a bit of it off my sword and ate it. Okay. But well, how did did it taste good? It tasted like chocolate. It tasted like as good a chocolate tort as you've had. Um, I'm gonna pick it up. Illustration actually looks really good. It does. It looks <laughs> Maybe <good>. I'm just <laughs> hungry. I'm gonna pick it up, but I'm not gonna eat it just yet. I'm just gonna. You, as you study, you can see there are little sh uh, coconut shavings on top. All right, I'm gonna pick off a little bit of the coconut and eat it. <laughs> Tastes like shaved coconut. It's good. Is it real? You think she actually baked these? Like, are they? She bought them from the store. <laughs> well, like, is it? Is it? Is it an illusion? Is what I'm trying to get at. Can you they... eat an illusion? I guess. I mean, like, is it conjured? You'll be Same. hungry afterwards. So... Yeah, but like I've seen, I've seen wizards that can conjure like they can conjure up berries and stuff. You can eat them berries. Mm -hmm. I love that conjured cake. Although one would think sometimes food. My, is, my you know. master would oh. have made a known such a thing. That's what I mean. Did you guys like detect magic or something? I mean, it's like um, I I mean, it sounds like it's just like the food because the bird says, um, the witch leaves food that it eats, too. So it could just be normal food. Uh, can you ask the bird how often this woman comes by? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, birdie. <laughs> what? How often does the witch lady come by? When did she leave the chocolate here? In the morning. This morning? Today's morning? Yeah. Every morning she comes by? Not here. 
I see her other places sometimes. What kind of food, uh, what other than the chocolate did she leave? Mm. Pie? Wow. Berry pie. I ate berry pie. It was good. I do not like the okay. crust. I like the inside part. Okay. Well, the look, the bird said that um, the witch leaves berry pie and it, it ate it and uh, it's not dead. I think we should track the pies. We should follow them. You I mean, I, that would be great if pies left tracks, but yeah. I don't think they move. <laughs> but there's going to be a trail of them, right? Like, they're going to yeah. lead back somewhere. Yeah, let's just keep oh, that's going right. and see I if forgot. we see any more. I forgot about that aspect of it. But uh, should we split this chocolate for now? You want to try some? Yeah. Yeah. I'll Your hold stomach. It I'll hold it out so if Bud can take some. Okay. I take... I take a bite. Roughly a quarter of it. Okay, like you can have my bit too, Bug. I don't think I'll eat it. I can oh. start training oh. again. What is uh, Bug's previous experience with chocolate torts? Uh, I don't think I've had them before, but I right. see them in on display at stores, I guess. Then it tastes as good as you would imagined it would, but you've never tried it before, so I can't say it tastes better or worse than other ones. Yeah, I think yeah, it, t it tasted pretty good. I'm like, wow, that's pretty delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's real stomach grumbles. She's a, she's a good. Are you guys sure you don't want some? It might go bad later. I haven't been I haven't been looking after my temple very well lately. I think I gotta get <laughs> back on that. <laughs> no, pat my tummy. Um, you don't want to try Dr the forbidden chocolate. <laughs> Drasdick offers to uh, leans over. Is like I'll have a bite. It's on yeah, offer. Awesome. I'll, get, I'll I'll hold it up so he can take them. Um, but you're not going to feed it to him? As Boreal says. Hello. Ew, it's Boreal. What the hell? He gets all nervous. You just you just ate ground chocolate. <laughs> you just ate ground chocolate. On the, it's uh, on the leaf. <laughs> the leaf is on the ground. It'll go ground chocolate. Yeah, but if you put chocolate on a table, the table's on the ground. <laughs> That's a significantly greater span of difference. He has a point. That's a much. There's a much wider difference there in the uh, <laughs> distance. Well, you don't know what you're missing out on. Yeah, it's, it's really good. All right, and so how, we're going well, to see let's go. Yeah. Should we take bets so, on how uh, long the the sleeping agent will take to kick in? <laughs> <laughs> not, it's, I'm not a sleeping well, agent. Well, I think it's. The, I think it's perfectly fine since the bird eats it. You know okay. there are things that are poisonous to humans that are not the birds, right? Yeah, but I've never gotten sick from food before. What about food that's been intentionally spiked to make that's, you sick? <laughs> that's actually really amazing. <laughs> that's very impressive, considering what I've seen you eat. <laughs> Yeah, trust me, this is better than that pickled fish, even if it was on the ground. It didn't uh, taste guess... as good as the slime that you ate, though. <laughs> slime it didn't taste as good as the slime that I ate. Yeah, the slime you ate was really good. So, it was me so it's mediocre <laughs> to the no. bakery standards of this chocolate. Well, no, the slime was very is one of the best things you've tasted. Oh, it's... Oh, okay. Like to me or to everyone else? To you, because nobody else ate no it. No one else ate anybody else. <laughs> okay. 
The um, newer listeners, yeah. Bug ate some slime from a wizard's lair. <laughs> <laughs> Should I keep the chocolate in my pocket? Yes. No, I'll, I'll carry it because I'm gonna like pick at it while I'm carrying it. Okay. I was just waiting for a mess in your pocket, lace. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna look for the next, the next chocolate tort, or the pie, or the candy. It doesn't take long, only probably about another 15 minutes before you see a uh, sweet on the ground. It's sort of like a, a spirally little treat, kind of like that. Just sitting on another li little leaf, much smaller than the last one. You know, more like uh, you'd pop it in your mouth and it's gone. You want this one, Bug? I'll pick it up and be yeah. like, who wants this one? I, I I want it. I'll I'll chuck it to you. <laughs> it's got a I'm like, like wow, a, this is fun. It's got like a hard shell on the outside, but the inside has got a citrusy flavor, sort of a lemon lemon goopy flavor, like a meringue or something. Ace, you, you grew up in a city, right? Like you grew up in 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 a town yeah. that had like bakeries, right? Yeah. 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 Do these look? I've always wanted to. Do they look as good? Those things. Or better? Like, how would you gauge it? Do they look? Do they look like they're premium baked <laughs> goods? Or do they look like? You're asking like orphan boy who's never had <laughs> baked goods, but only seen them if they're premium enough. <laughs> I'm just visually. Gonna, yeah. yeah. Visually, do they look? Like they'd sell for a lot of money in a city. Yeah, do, they, do they look like delicious uh, elite bonbons? <laughs> yeah, they, elite bonbon. They do. They they look <laughs> like somebody has put a lot of care into these ones, um, but sure. not. They're not like the top tier. Like you know when you would go into the the boulangerie, not the boulangerie, the patisserie, and you would have the you know, there'd be the chocolate torte, which is very simple looking. And then as you go along, there'd be like the more elegant, refined ones. That's like, you know, a three layer thing with like gelatinous jam or something, and then a layer of sponge cake, and then a layer, you know, like, it's not like the most complex thing, but it looks like the, of the complexity stuff, it's the lower level done well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I really so, hope this is just like a big misunderstanding because I, I don't I don't know if this witch is actually a bad witch. She's yeah. making, maybe she just wants judging to make friends. Her, judging um, from her cooking abilities, yeah. she's a good person. Anyone who gives away free candy is good in my books. Yeah. I literally, the taste I of literally it. have. Hmm. <laughs> from the taste of it, I could. I can start to vouch for this bakery witch lady. <laughs> well, we'll see how she looks. They call her a witch. I'm sure she's just like some, some, some grandma who's like, um, I know how to make friends. I live all by myself and I'll, I'll leave out baked goods and that'll bring people over to see me. And uh, yeah. And then she traps them in there in her house. No, no, maybe just animals get them or something, you know, like... Send them into bricks for her, for her uh, mansion. Oh, uh, meat bricks? No, Places I them as zombies. Uh. She turns them into candy. So it, yes, is it... you could be eating a child right now. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even eat it. <laughs> well, if she can turn a child into a chocolate thing, then I'm sure she can turn the contents of my stomach back into a child. <laughs> <laughs> like a second bug made from the contents of your stomach? It, it, back to the original child. You know? It's like a. Would that, would that make even though that it's awesome? like. <laughs> that would be interesting. I think you're too young to be having children. 
Is that is that how it works? <laughs> How yeah. children are made. Yes, yes, Bob. That is how children <laughs> are made. Eat them. Yeah, <laughs> too much food. That's a conversation even if Gorilla doesn't want to have just yet. <laughs> just, just pat Bog on the head and be like, "Yes." All right, we'll keep following them and things. Following that sweet candy trail. Another Good thing every minutes. parent tells you not to do. Yeah, it's another like 20 minutes or so before you spot another one. This one is another one of the ones that you just saw, but it's a different color. Uh, really hard candy. Harder? The hard candy. It's got the harder shell on the outside. It's sort of like a cake pop type thing. Well, if nobody else wants it, I'm going to take it. Oh, yours. Yeah, you can take it. I guess I ate the other one. All right. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat this one. What does it taste like? This one's light blue, and it has a uh, different, like a not quite blueberry, but it does have like a, a berry flavor to it. It tastes like berries. A flavor that you would recognize from growing up in the tropical location that you know you've, you've had this type of berry before oh is that that um uh what is it called fairy berry fairy, fairy berry yeah fairy yeah okay well can't wait to see what other candies are on the all right um you keep going and there's more ones that look like that, like they're just a variety of different fruit flavors. They start repeating, there's the lemon ones again, and there's the fairy berries again. And- Starting to like get a little bit cautious. It's, uh, it's getting on that like your legs are getting a little bit tired from having done a bunch of walking, uh, walking around town, walking around here. And you're like, still finding like a candy trail you're not quite you know you don't know how far away you have to keep going um but it's you're starting to feel the wear and tear on your your feet of having gone a whole day of walking if you get if you guys keep going you're gonna have to start making constitution checks to do um so you don't get exhausted if you get exhausted in Dungeons and Dragons, it means that you are going to be at disadvantage on your skill checks. I mean, we could camp for the night, but we're in which county now? Uh, I don't particularly want to stay in the jungle if we don't have to. Well, either we push on or we, we don't. We're just getting deeper into the jungle, right? So even if we push forward, we're just going deeper. Yeah. We can Let's take. just uh, head back to the road and camp there. We could try and camp someone here, maybe up a tree, or we could keep going forward. Let's camp by the road. You don't know where the road is. Back that like, way. You've No, but you've oh, gone no. off winding trails. Nobody thought to leave a work behind them, did they? We kept no. picking up the one thing that marked. Uh, <laughs> Nobody was marking the trail behind you, and you guys have wandered and followed the candy for quite some time now. Can I can I use my my ring to see if it can if I can know which direction? Me. Sure. Okay. Well, survival, right? Yep. Uh, first roll is an eight. Second roll is a thirteen. You have a you have a compass direction of which way to go. Okay. Like you you can navigate by the where the sun is in the sky. I'll be like, all right. Well, I think if we head that way. That should take us back to the road. I'm pretty sure. Either that, or we camp where we are, or nearby. Is the is a path like? 
pretty do we take a direct path from the road like we go back or do we you you took a lot of meandering weird twisting paths okay. so for you to necessarily be able to know which one of those paths will take you back is like it's would be difficult. There'd be have to be another check done to be able to, or at least one check to follow your way back, and you'd be backtracking for another couple hours. And it's starting to get dark, right? Yeah, this sun is just... is starting to go down. It's not going to be dangerous of, of being dark yet because it's uh, the sun stays in the sky for such a long time at this place uh, near the equator. Like the days That's are longer. Just, uh... Let's just rest here. We don't want to risk it's getting it. exhausted. You want to risk getting maybe by a switch though. But we uh, can maybe like... climb up a tree. I... I'm sure a witch could climb up a tree. I'm sure, what she want to, or would she even think to look? Um, we can, can well, we can like take uh, take turns down watch, you know, and when the witch comes. Uh, yeah, but I'm Maybe not two sleeping people. while you're taking watch because last time you <laughs> let me get eaten by a snake. So we're taking watch you together. Didn't get, you didn't get eaten by a snake. I almost got eaten by a snake. <laughs> it was pretty close. All right, well, two people can stand and watch at the same time. I think we have enough people here to do this. Yeah. But look at all the friends we've been toting around. <laughs> <Not there. laughs> They nod their heads. And uh, one gives you a thumbs up because they don't have a head to nod. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, then we just try and make a, like find a good spot to make a stealthy kind of camp to hide and see. Should we make a fire and tell witch stories around the fire? That could be fun. Um, Dresdick yeah, like takes idea. the axe, spins it around like, I'll get some firewood. <laughs> Dresdick, log splitter. Hey, let me try. Let me try that axe. Sure. He passes it over. All right. I'll we're, go we're, and cut some wood with Dresdick. We got to get dry wood, of course. Yeah, yeah. Look, I know all about splitting logs. It's in my, my family. It runs in the blood. And I'll go and cut down like the greenest tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, what are the, uh, I guess, who's taking first watch? Or is there anything you guys want to talk about like around the fire? Or do you want to skip to resting? Um, I'll take like the first watch while it's still pretty light out. While I can still see. <laughs> is what I mean? Can, can I see how uh, how good of a scary story I can tell? Yeah, absolutely. I want to tell the spookiest jungle witch story I can manage. All right, um, give me a performance check. Ooh, uh, 22. <laughs> it was the taste 20. of the story. So, um, I tell a story of uh, there was once a child who wandered off into the woods against all of the warnings that um, her parents gave her because she followed Shelly Candy. And they led her into the cave, mouth of the cave where all the spirits of, uh, of the fallen god of the islands um, inhabited it and it swooped down and filled her. And ever since then, uh, you hear this, or uh, anytime you find abandoned candy, um, it could be, uh, or you should leave it where it is, because uh, the the spirit of this god possessed little girl might uh, come looking for it, whether you've eaten it or not. And so you don't want it to be in your stomach when she comes looking for you. Oh, Why then she'll have to dig it out. <gasps> yep. <laughs> My candy. <laughs> just, I don't like this story. It's upsetting me. <laughs> And he, uh, Ismail accompanies this with like little illusions and spooky noises, and uh, you know, like this kind of vague, misty form of a girl with like long, streaming white hair, and just vague enough to not really be able to see, just to suggest something terrible in the distance. Um, I would like uh, anybody who would like to 
uh, make a wisdom saving throw to see whether you're frightened by this tale. If you're like, my, I don't think my character would be frightened by this. I don't want to do that check. I'm not going to make you do that check. But if you're like, you know what? I'm a teenager. I'm alone in the, well, not alone in the forest, but I'm kind of alone in the forest. And that was a good role that Isubriel had and you want to do the role. I rolled for it because I ate the candy. So a little <laughs> tiny part of me wonders that like, there must be something up with this candy. I got a 13. <laughs> I got a 21. Right. I got 19. All right, you guys are all creeped out by it, except for Swell. I'm going to say that Swell is like, you're only a little bit creeped out. You enjoyed the story, mm. but you're not necessarily afraid of it. You're maybe afraid but, for your friends rather than for yourself. Can I Whereas, make the roll too? <laughs> oh, you want to scare yourself? <laughs> you were spooked yeah. by your own story? <laughs> I think it would be hilarious. Uh, 11. <laughs> you scared yourself. <laughs> you, you scared yourself. <laughs> That's why it was so scary, because his burial was genuinely getting spooked. <laughs> He's telling it, but then there's just like a little bit of just like a... What if he's being inspired by a real sound? event? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, because he had to think about all of the spookiest things he could to cobble it together and like to imagine what it might look like, and so... Now we have these images in his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very real. Uh, so I did rolls for the rest of your companions. And the one who's the most scared is Yarva. And she asks if she can uh, stay up with you, Swell. And uh, she, she take take first watch because she's not ready to try and sleep right now. She's still shook. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm happy for the company. Tell me, tell me some stories about the places you've been. You're pretty well traveled. So that's good. You're trying to get her mind off of it. Yeah. I can see that she's visibly shaken and I'm like, it was just a story, but yeah, tell me about the places you've traveled. She gets, uh, she starts telling you those stories and she feels a little more calm from having done that and is able to sort of settle down. You guys are taking the first watch. Who's taking the second watch? I'll take the second watch. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll take the second watch with Buzz. Well, you usually, uh, you only need four hours sleep. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm going to also stay up on the first watch because I don't like the idea of Swell and and uh, yeah, Yara but... being alone together. And I'm also kind of spooked out. So I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna stay up too. I'm I'm kind of scared. And then I'll also um, be like, that's pretty cool. You found out about your parents. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I honestly thought it would take us like at least like a while to get into that the meat of that story, but. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah, cool. pacing. There's like a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's pretty cool that we you got that information already. Yeah. I, it, Mysteries about the sister. Why is she there? Yeah. Oh. It's pretty surprising that that mayor like knew everyone in my family. It's like I didn't even have to tell him. He's like he, he knew just, he knew who you were as soon as he saw you. Yeah. The spitting image of your mother. He said. I don't know. There's something about that mare that I can't quite put my finger on. <laughs> or if you just reached out, maybe you could just. <laughs> no, but very enigmatic. <laughs> you're not. You're not wrong. I think there was something up with him too. He was so reluctant to send people in to that, to that 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 pyramid. Even when we told him we were gifted, he was like. Nah, don't go in there. That's dangerous. We'll be like, yeah, but we're gifted. And he's like, nah, still, but nah. I don't know about your master, but Titus always said that if you were gifted, that you had to use your abilities to help people and to fight for others who are weaker than you. So I don't know. The fact that he just like 
hangs out with spiders. It's a little weird. I mean, yeah, we're not here to hang out with spiders. That's not us. You know. I don't know. Yeah, if we've got gifts, we should we should use them. Yeah. Not everyone has them. We've been given them for a reason. And I guess he's helping in his own way by making those houses and stuff. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. But I don't know. There's part of me that does kind of want to stay here and hang out with the drow and like learn about I don't know where I'm from but and you should you totally should but I think maybe we got to get our masters back first yeah that feels pretty important too I can't just leave Titus and Mog where they are and you can't let us do it by ourselves you guys would totally die without me oh 100 percent yeah is burial 10 meters down the road, <laughs> trip on a log or something. It's honestly shocking that he's alive right now. <laughs> shocking. But yeah, that's, uh, keep you, keep you, um, your mind off the spooky story that you were told. <laughs> Um, when it comes time to uh, go to sleep, Yarva tries to curl up a little closer next to Swell. It's like, I'm still feeling a little scared. Do you mind? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm here to help if I can. Thanks. It's going to say, <laughs> don't you need to leave space for Sunder in there? <laughs> Sunda's, Sunda's with us right now. Sunda's everywhere. Did you? There's more. Do you want it? And then he gets kind of shy, realizing what he's about to say. <laughs> and then he's like, "Oh, um. ew, no, gross." Is it's gonna go and wake up Bug annoyedly? <laughs> Bug, time for your watch. What? Oh, okay. Uh, he was having a dream about baby from, from food. <laughs> oh no. Um, and he's glad to, it was just a dream. Right. I want you guys to make perception checks two of you that are awake now, Bug and Zip. Mm, not great. Six. Three. <laughs> I just woke up. Right. I'm just like staring at, at uh, Swell and, and um, Yavar. <laughs> not really on lookout. Just like... mm. All right. So neither of you notice uh, <laughs> and then you guys like after you know you've been there for about you know an hour you've been awake or whatever you look over and you notice that just sort of on the edge of your firelight there's now a slice of cake that wasn't there last time you looked Ooh. I'm gonna like grab Ooh. Bug. And be like, Bug, do you see that cake? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Should we? Should we go eat? It? No, we shouldn't go and eat. Midnight it. snack. <laughs> what? Why? You're gonna get snatched by the witch. Didn't you hear his burial story? I okay. thought it was just a story. Never just a story. No one came for the food in our stomachs. 
Oh. I'm coming now. Okay, well, I'm gonna uh, wake I'll... up. I'm gonna wake up swell. Are you gonna wake up, everyone? <laughs> I'm gonna wake up swell. Huh? He just went back to sleep. <laughs> well, he's been asleep for a couple hours. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? What's up? What? Oh, there's cake. Yeah, there's cake everywhere, man. No, no, there's cake, and there wasn't cake, and now there's cake. Cool. I'm gonna... What? No, you don't understand. The witch was here, and she left cake. The witch is here? The witch is here, and she has cake. I look around, and I can't see the witch anywhere, and I'm like... <laughs> and I, like, what? point to the cake. There, look! Are you... Did you put that there? Where would I get that from? You I been... can't make cake in the middle of the jungle. I thought you'd been carrying around cake, or like <laughs> you'd be picking up all the cakes as we went. We ate them all. We ate them all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well then, that's a different story. I'll be like, huh? Uh, is that the? Is that the, what the cake looks like? It's a slice of cake. Yeah, it's a slice, tall slice of cake. Zip. It looks so good. You can see good in the dark, right? Yeah. What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna walk toward the cake near the edge of the fire light and like just look out into the darkness. I'll follow along with my warhammer. Okay. I'm holding it low, check. ready to like strike. Give a perception check there, Zip. Not 20. I... Nice. You're looking out into the forest, and the thing about dark vision is anything beyond uh, your, you know, there's, there's, you get your vision. From the, actually, you'd have it from the firelight, and then you'd have another like X amount of space from there that you can see. And then it gets really, it's basically pitch black. You're in the middle of the jungle. It's just completely black. You can't see anything. Um, Drow have superior dark vision there, right? Is that to 120? Okay. I think it's, I think it's 60 of normal and then 120 of dark. Um, right. Correct me if I'm I wrong. think it's. I think it's thrown off once you put a, a light source. Okay. So it goes by the campfire. So the campfire is giving light for 30 feet, and then you've got another 30 feet of dim light, which is disadvantage. But I'm going to say with a roll of nat 20, I'm not going to make you roll at disadvantage. I'm just going to say that what you see about 100 feet away, somewhere, like you can't make out anything other than blackness. Like there's leaves and there's tree trunks and all sorts of stuff, but you see two yellow eyes in the darkness looking at you. I'm gonna like reach back and like grab Swell's hand. Be like, She's out there. She's looking at us. Which direction? Right there. I'm gonna like point toward the eyes. Can I see the eyes? Do a perception check. Uh, 22, so 19 plus 3. Yep, you can see the eyes. My eyes go wide. And uh, I'll, I'll grip Zip's hand a little bit tighter. I'll be like, get ready. What are you going to do? I cast Sacred Flame. Okay, so what do you need to be able to cast Sacred Flame? Uh, like, what's the range on it? 60 feet. I guess I would have known that before I cast it, but I right. said I did it. So, so you, well, you even if it's just to, like, scare her off. Well, yeah. you can say, I want to cast it, you know, somewhere else. If you want to try and hit the eyes, then you're going to have to move. Okay. Okay, how about this? Instead of Sacred Flame, I cast Guiding Bolt. Okay, how does that one work? 
a flash of light will streak um, to toward towards the creature of my choice. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole whole campsite is lit up briefly um, as this streak of light just like speeds away from my hand. Um, I have to make a range spell attack against the target. Basically. Okay, disadvantage. Okay. Range spell attack. Oh, come on. You can't just click the plus five spell attack in D&D Beyond. I think you got to roll a 20 and do the... Okay, with, di with disadvantage? Yes. Uh, Should be able to just click it. 10. The light goes off. It goes in that direction. Eyes blink out. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I'm gonna like look around to see if I can see them anymore. Alright, do another perception check. A disadvantage. Uh, four. Nowhere to be seen. You don't hear them. You don't see them. Just yell out. Um, it's creepy and weird to watch kids sleep. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Says Zip. Show yourself. Maybe you, we scared, you guys scared them away. And maybe it's just a wild animal. Do I wake up to all of this? That's up to you. He's for real. There's been a loud noise now and some yelling. Uh -huh. uh... If you'd like to be awake, you can be. Myself a six on perception, so he mm -hmm. kind of goes. <laughs> Classic is burial. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pick up the cake and I'm gonna like chuck it back into the jungle. No, they keep your cake. We don't want it. Creep. It, it might hurt have hurt her feelings. <laughs> She's just trying to be nice. Maybe. You chuck the cake and uh, the cake is mushed out there somewhere. <laughs> I, I, I yell out, but we're uh, sorry, sorry for my friend. She, she's just confused. Oh, that witch is probably going to try and eat us. Oh. Uh, She's filled us up with cake Mine. to make us sweet, and now she's going to eat us. That doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect <laughs> sense. Why would she do that? We're not delicious at all. If she has cake, why didn't she just eat that? Because she eats children. Everybody what? knows that witches eat children. Is that a thing? Yeah. Well, we're didn't, not. Didn't you hear the story when you were a kid about the child eating witch? It's no. a classic fairy tale. I never heard of it. <laughs> also, we're not children anymore. We're teenagers. Sure, pretty I mean, in the eyes of the law, we're still considered children in most places in the world. But you're right, we're definitely not children, children. So maybe we're not her, you know, preferred, preferred demographic. My understanding is that anyone that, that went into the jungle got disappeared. And that could have been adults or... Or, uh, or or children or, or whoever, right? Like, but so she's a witch that's graduated from eating children into just eating everyone. <laughs> Beggars so can't be even choosers. Even more powerful witch that we uh, have to contend with. 
Uh, okay. This is now just a full on cannibal witch. Well, she's she's not here anymore. We don't see anything. Do I see anything? Can I try a? Sure. Give me a perception check. Okay. Perception. A, a twenty. I got a twenty. Right. Ooh. Like natural or added up? Added up. Nineteen plus one. You don't see anything, but you hear, you hear a little bit of a voice. Right. Just as Burial yeah. laughing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> 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 laughing to himself. <laughs> is it, what kind, like, is it a foreign voice? Like, <laughs> It's not somebody in your group. Okay. Uh, do you guys hear that? Hear what? What do you hear? Someone's laughing at us. See, it's the witch. She's she's laughing at us. She's just toying with us. I guess she's not upset that you threw her cake on the floor. She is toying with us. Listen, I think we need to be ready. I think we need to wake everyone up. I can't oh. stand by and let my friends get eaten in this sleep. Okay. Well, we did declare war on her by throwing her cake on the floor. So I don't think we have any other choice now. All right. I'm going to go and wake everyone up. Okay. Wake up, guys. The witch is here. She's trying to eat us. Juice was never an option. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be ready to fight at any second. What? Is for real? Is it? The witch is here, and she has come to eat you. Be ready. But my flesh is so delicate and tender. Yeah, I that's why she wants why. to eat you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kind of rolls over to his feet and grips after his uh, repair and. <laughs> but she she wouldn't come now that we are. She would just watch us, right, and make us tired. And what we're just gonna wait for her. Yeah. Or should we go out? If we go and... to sleep, she's definitely gonna try and eat. But us. if we don't go to sleep, we'll be tired, and then when we finally go to sleep, she will eat. That is to be tired than to be dead. She's, no, I think that the, the witch is just trying to lure us away. If if she, if they wanted to get us, what like why leave the cake? Why leave the cake? Why what's the cake for? Trying to take us somewhere. They're just trying to get us to go somewhere. That's all that's happening. Feels bad for eating us. I mean, but, technically, oh. aren't we actually following the cake to try and go to where she is? Yeah, we found each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is that was chill, before you convinced me that she was trying to eat us. <laughs> it, I'm she's making us all fun and games. <laughs> and delicious. A delicious cake. But now I'm scared of the witch. <laughs> he kind of pauses and then looks but a little wait. bit smug. And then it says, you realize I made it up. Right. I know, but every story has a grain of truth. Tiniest, tiniest, maybe a grain, and the claim being that yes, there is a some cake and candy, but shouldn't we just go and? I mean, if we're all up, why don't we just go and see what she wants? Yeah, let's ask her. She's if she's gonna eat us. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go and ask her. Okay. All right. Where, the, where she who's, le who's leading the way? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I'm the closest to her target. <laughs> I'll put I'll put my my chain chain mail on. Soft and tender. 
<laughs> and I ate the most candy. I'll put I'll put my chainmail on. I'll I'll get, pick up my shield and I'll. I guess I guess me. I guess I'll do it. Uh, yeah, you look not the, the most undelicious. Talking yeah, about you didn't just... any of her candy, so she probably doesn't want to eat you. Yeah. Anyway, I've got your back, and I'm gonna like hold my sword like really tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take this. It's angels to go alone. I'll pull out a, a brand from the fire. There's only so you can see. Rustic has taken out the axe. Proc has a uh, spear. Yarva has her walking staff. Or sorry, Proc has a, more like a machete. And they're all following behind. And despite Isbrodeal's words about not being real, he is still kind of like clutching his crew. <laughs> And like just like fingers just ready <laughs> all right so swell since you're leading the way do you want to give me uh, a perception check okay oh that was nearly a two it's a 15. 15. you can hear some rustling but you don't see anything can i hear but... which direction it's coming from you, you hear rustling sort of roughly in the direction that you had seen the eyes before, but a little further away and a little more to the south. If you're facing, I'm imagining you're facing west and it's now more southwest. Okay. I'll kind of tilt my head a little bit in that direction and then I'll... Uh... Start moving towards the sound. You move towards the sound. You're having to go off path here. Like you're going to have to start walking through bushes and stuff, bushwhacking through darkness. Okay. Is the. I guess there, it's kind of like bushes and stuff around us anyway, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's not easy to walk through this stuff. Like it's. You're going to have to get out a machete or, you know, climb a tree and try and swing from vines or something like, it's not like you can just walk in a straight line in that way without sort of like, you know, making big steps over things and then trying to, it, like, it's very awkward to get through. Okay. Are the other kids with us? Like who, did some of them stay by the fire? As far as I knew, uh, like if, if everybody got up, then like once you started getting up, they all got up. Uh, are, are we rested or exhausted? You're neither rested nor exhausted. Nobody's had their full rest and nobody, like, if you guys push yourself, you go hunting for somebody for another hour, then you're going to mm -hmm. risk being exhausted. Mm -hmm. But if you guys just, like, go back to bed, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's kind of, it's like, it's difficult terrain. More or less, is that right? Yes. Okay. Alright. So oh. He's probably oh. like meeting us somewhere dangerous. Or like yeah. playing into her hands if we follow her. That's a given. So Does anyone have a torch? Yeah, just didn't Ease Burial have like yeah. a lady. You gave me one? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um how far away do I think the rustling sound was? like maybe 120 150 feet oh, okay so it's a, way, a ways away i'll keep moving towards it zip's gonna call out show yourself you coward um is are you Spur is this burial following or were you still back at the camp no i'm going okay I also uh, say, we have some questions. If you mean us no harm, step forward. So you can do another perception check. There's no answer. I'm going to keep repeating the, uh, we have some questions and would like to speak with you in um, common Elvish and Sylvan. Uh, 12. You hear some rustling 
uh, behind you and like basically straight north, like 40 meters or 40 feet. Mm. Like back the way we came? Sort of a little bit, yeah, but also much closer. Wait, like a different source? Could be. We're being toyed with. We shouldn't. Are we in the bushes or something? Yeah. Let's like head. Let's back back to the campfire, guys. I don't. I, we're being messed with. Yeah, I don't want to no. end up in her trap. You guys make your way back to the camp, and when you get there, you know the cake slice you saw before. The rest of the cake is there, and there's a note. <gasps> And the note says, bring your questions to my cottage. Where is it though? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh. I think we'll find that out next week. The number one question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but where is it? <laughs> where is it? There are no directions. <laughs> she is nice. The whole but... Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, um, that is our game for the evening. Did anybody have a, a favorite moment from the game they want to share? Oh, the Maya's list. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> no questions. I'm glad that you feel comfortable enough to roast me with uh, <laughs> with this during the game. I'm really sorry, Brian. <laughs> no, no, I'm glad. It makes me feel that I'm playing with people who I can be comfortable with. <laughs> if only uh, they could see the drawing that you made. Yeah, um, <laughs> did you get rid of it? Is it gone? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, can you try it again? I just want to see if it shows up, because people got to see that in the lips. <laughs> well, you should definitely include it in the thumbnail for the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use a lot of Brian's art. I try to use ours, like um, like whatever we draw on the canvas, including what Brian does. But the um, pre-prepared stuff, I guess I it wouldn't hurt to start doing that, actually. But uh, that well, that one particularly. <laughs> it's just a close-up of the lips. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever seen that uh, video? Um, it's from Lord of the Rings. It's when Frodo wakes up and then someone's like dubbed it with all the weird voices. And it's like, and off and... and off. <laughs> no. Okay, you gotta look it up. There's one where Legolas walks in and he just goes, mmm. Is it like the bad lip reading? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I think it might be. Yeah. Okay, there he is. Let's see if it shows up. Oh, come on. Can you can you can you just like take a screenshot, Matt, and like post it into Twitch or something as I an image? I don't know. Which, which uh... you'll have to follow us on Twitter or Instagram. Yeah. Or maybe it will show up as we do our outros. <laughs> Sometimes it appears after we've uh, we sit there for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's not showing up for some reason. Even though I like. Control of it. I don't know. I think there must be a limit on like how much the uh, the browser thing can, can take. But. Um, it shows it to us though, but not. Yeah. OBS. I think it's OBS is having trouble with it. Um, sometimes if I like. Pressure. The lips are too powerful! There you go. There's it's the there. lips. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> You're welcome, Internet. <laughs> the mutton chops, also. Yeah, it's I a think combination. Actually, the, the way they yeah. frame. Yeah. <laughs> the way they're framed so perfectly. <laughs> it's a good drawing. He looks like a badass, like mm. with the, uh, the tattoos and stuff and the mutton chops. Um, it's, uh, no, I, I've spent years as a dungeon master coming up with things that I think are going to be neat. And when you expose them to the party, they just find something hilarious about it that you did not intend. You're like, oh, I haven't said that name out loud before or whatever. And it's like, yeah. like that's just part of being a DM. You just got to roll with <laughs> it. So yeah, I'm glad that it's provided us a good amount of comedy for the evening. <laughs> Especially 
good that he was a guy who is, uh, you know, happy to poke fun at things and say like, oh yeah, that's what we do. We do banter. And you're like poking fun at him like, <laughs> out of game, but thematically a good character to do it with. Um, I had a lot of fun drawing all of the food. That was, uh, I enjoyed not having to draw you characters. Very nice. Get to draw some yeah. tasty stuff. Uh, but I, I enjoyed how much Espuriel's uh, Tale of Terror switched the party's outlook on the witch. Yeah, a mm-hmm. nice candy witch. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Which is kind of funny because I feel like Espuriel is now actually leaning a bit more uh, generous toward the witch <laughs> since she hasn't attacked yet. Um, I feel like his spooking was more about like having to put himself in the mindset and less about the actual story. <laughs> but I also enjoyed that he spooked himself. <laughs> that was great that you were the one that failed to save. <laughs> um, anybody else have a favorite moment? I think Zip discovering that her parents were part of, were like intending to be part of this colony but got shipwrecked. Mm. I think that's going to lead to some interesting side quests in the future. And I'm, my head, my head's spinning about what uh, to, if if her sister washed up at the same time. What's going on with that? Yeah. Yeah, the idea that uh, I want to give you guys some hooks into the story, some backstory stuff as much as I can, because you know if I save it for later. And it's, uh, I'm just depriving you of the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Besides, I got four characters' stories to weave in here. Yeah. Don't hold back. And uh, I didn't even know if you were going to go to this place. You could have easily skipped it. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, if you like it, spread the word. Tell somebody. Give us a thumbs up follow us, tell someone to follow us, whatever it is. Send us some fan art. We'd love to see more pictures. We make pictures. We like pictures. And if you're not already uh, following us on YouTube, get over there as well. That's where we post the the videos, uh, the episodes once they've been edited. Um, And if you've missed anything from tonight, you can always catch up there. Um, It's our outro time. So if you have any interesting projects or anything you want everybody to know about, feel free to say so as you say goodbye, Boya. Hello, um, I mean, bye, I'm Boya. I played Bug. Thank you for watching. Priscilla. I'm Priscilla. Uh, I don't have anything particularly coming up of note, but you can find me on Twitter at Autoflame and Priscilla Kim. Thanks for watching. Caitlin. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Caitlin. See you next week. Matt. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, nothing really exciting at the moment, but um, keep your eyes peeled because I got some stuff. And I'm Brian, and uh, I'm wearing one of my shirts that finally arrived that I ordered for Christmas of my own stuff. Got mm-hmm. like, uh, I don't know, it's hard to see, but I was excited for it to finally arrive. I know it's difficult to ship stuff over the holidays. So if you ordered stuff from anywhere, some artists somewhere, be patient as uh, it's it's a difficult time to get things. Enjoy the delayed gifts. If you ordered that for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, they slowly roll in through January and February. And... It's like a surprise from your past self. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always think that Christmas comes uh, ends a little too quick. You know, the sun is just starting to, like, it's so dark at night, and those lights help light up the night. You know, when people have those brightly colored lights outside, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, it makes it feel cozy. And then in January and February, I'm like, where are those darn lights? Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel so cozy anymore. Yeah, Christmas should be in, like, February. February is the worst month. <laughs> yes. You, you could be like my family and just, like, not really bother to take things down until, like, I <laughs> I think our worst record was sometime in June. Oh, wow. We didn't have a real tree. It was like a paper tree on the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> Same when I was a kid. There was once we left our Christmas tree up until about June. <laughs> <laughs>
It just became a fixture of the living room. Yeah. <laughs> My kids are like, I want to keep it up. Don't take the tree down. I want to keep it up. Like, it's not special if we keep it up all year round. It's got to be a tradition that you take it up or put it up and take it down. I think the one time that my family hosted Christmas at our house, we, my mom had like put up some decorations and I'm pretty sure that they just never came down. They were just there. That They were just permanent decorations. <laughs> it's nice about Hanukkah is you know when it's over. You can't like, you just, you can't add another candle to the menorah. You're not like, <laughs> yeah. okay, add nine, add <laughs> ten. Um, yeah. Thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, thanks. You guys are always fun to play with, so thank you for joining in the game. And we'll hopefully we'll see you all next week for another magical marker Monday Tuesday. <laughs> magical marker going... Monday actually has a ring to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <We> messed up. <laughs> <laughs> we picked the wrong day. All right. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Night.